This amazing life story took place on Christmas Eve in one of the largest second-hand shops in the city of Norman. A girl named Andrea Lessing was busy disassembling clothes, checked for holes or stains, and sorted items that people sent back. She had only started working literally for a month. Therefore, she did not neglect the opportunity to spend even a holiday at work. Andrea planned to do all the work quickly and by evening return home to her little daughter Emily. The fact is that Andrea barely had enough money even for food, not to mention for a gift for the baby. That's why the poor thing worked so hard, hoping for some positivity along the way. And so, one night, while sorting through another bag of merchandise, Andrea found a dense bundle wrapped in an old sweater. She thought it probably had books in it. Many often send along with old clothes some personal belongings, magazines, or boxes of jewelry. However, when Andrea unwrapped the bundle, she almost screamed in shock. There lay money, more than she's ever seen in one place. So, right there, she estimated it must have been in the thousands. So, when she counted the wad of bills to be as $42,000, she was stunned. Taking everything for herself did cross her mind. She imagined finding some respite for her and her daughter on some faraway island, but something pulled her back to reality. But how would I explain to my daughter how we got so rich? I won't be able to tell her the truth, but what if she finds out for herself? I don't want her to carry that burden. She began to search the bag it was in further, hoping to find at least some information about the owner it came from. The idea struck Andrea as unrealistic, since all the donations were given anonymously. But as she dug further into each pocket, she came across a business card with a phone number on it that Andrea ended up calling. The woman was picked up by an alarmed woman, who, when she learned where the calls were coming from, burst into tears. She said she lost a large sum of money, possibly confusing a bag of money with a bag of clothes. Andrea laughed to calm the stranger down and told her that she had the money. The delighted woman immediately arrived at the appointed address. The woman introduced herself as Margaret and thanked Andrea profusely, with tears in her eyes. Suddenly, someone called Margaret. Margaret immediately changed her face and laughed out loud. She then explained to Andrea that the money wrapped in the sweater turned out to be fake and was to be used for her son's theatrical production and her husband had already taken a package of real bills and paid for an important expensive operation, for which such a huge amount was needed. And yet, as a sign of gratitude, she transferred a thousand dollars to the woman, then smiled, congratulated Andrea on the upcoming holiday and left, leaving the girl in disbelief. Andrea, on the way home to her daughter, stopped by a store. She bought sweets and a gift for her. For the first time in a long time, she could afford to buy something for Emily. And even on the way, the girl did not leave the idea that if she took the fake money for herself, something bad could have happened to her. But as it was, she could still arrange a holiday for her daughter, pay the bills, and much, much more. 
Coming home, Andrea found herself within arms of tiny hands as a gentle voice whispered to her, Mommy, Merry Christmas. Andrea and Emily felt like the happiest mother and daughter in the world. Honesty is not only the first step to greatness, but also greatness itself.